If you want to add letters or words to a 3D print, typically you have to go through a CAD program and then slice it and print it. Well, the early release of Prusa Slicer 2.6 has added a feature where you can put letters right on your 3D print inside the slicer. Let's check it out on today's Film of Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. This video is also brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Prusa Slicer 2.6.0 is in a fourth level of alpha release, so it's still a pre-release, so I downloaded to try it. I'm using a MacBook Air, so I just scrolled down to the Mac OS, downloaded that, and installed it on my computer. It looks like a standard Prusa Slicer, but as you see at the top, it's Alpha 4, so this is the Alpha version. Now, I did bring a Benchy, and to do the text, you right-click on it and scroll down to Add Part, and then scroll down further to where it says Text. Text will show up on your print, and then you'll have this pop-up window where you can edit it. It says embossed text, let's get rid of the word embossed. So I'm just going to highlight it here and hit delete. So all that's left is this short little word called text. Now you can position that any way you want. Slide it around, adjust the angle. We can even adjust the thickness and the height. So if I come up here to height, I can change it from 13 millimeters down to 8. So now it's a little more manageable and I don't want it as deep. You can also check the used surface and then the text will wrap right around any curved part of the print, just like you see here on the Benchy. There's some presets you can change also, but the big one is subtract. You can make it subtract so it actually takes away material. But here it's too thick. It's going actually through the Benchy. So I'm going to change it to two millimeters so that way it stays flush to the surface. But now when I slice this, it'll actually take away material. So here's the Benchy again, and I added the letters 3D Benchy. As you can see on the right here, it adds a subset to the file. It says text 3D Benchy, and there you can see 3D Benchy on the side of it. And I've positioned this with an 8 millimeter height, a 1 millimeter depth, using the surface, and an angle of minus 10.3 degrees. So I got it where I wanted it. I'm using added so it's going to stick out. So when we slice this, we can look at how it's going to print. So here it is in preview mode. I can scroll down, and you can see the outer wall will form those letters. It'll stick out from the side of the Benchy. I'm going to print this on my Ender 2 Pro with a Gerolite or FR4 board. And at a 0.28 layer height, it's not the best benchy, but the lettering looks pretty clean and sticks out really nicely. Now I'm going to take the same file, but I'm going to change the lettering to subtracted so it goes into the model or takes away material. So let's slice this and see how this looks in preview. And you can see now it's recessed. The walls are actually going in to form the letters instead of sticking out. I kind of like this better because it doesn't affect the outer dimensions of the print. So if I print it out the same 0.28 layer height, it looks pretty good. In fact, I think it's easier to read than the embossed text that's sticking out. And this circuit board or FR4 material that I use to print on works really well. And speaking of circuit boards, you should check out my sponsor, PCBWay.com. You can get 10 pieces of circuit board for $5. Just upload your Gerber files and get them sent to you. If you don't need circuit boards, they also have CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. So if you need any of these services, check out PCBWay.com. Now doing this in a program such as Tinkercad is pretty easy. I've done it many times. Once in a while you may do this to a print and Tinkercad will actually mess up the .stl file and then you have to go through a repair service. So it's not always clean, but that is one way to do it. But there are advantages to doing it within the slicer. Sometimes you may want to print multiple units at different positions on the bed to see which one prints better. Well, if you can label each one a different number, you now know exactly which is which when you take them off the bed. Another advantage is if you have a multi-part print and you just want to give this to somebody else to assemble, you can now put numbers on each part. So then they know connect one to two and two to three, it makes it much easier and then you still don't affect the original design. Now this is still an early release. It's not a final release. They're still working on it. This is an Alpha 4. But I love the fact that Prusa Slicer is open source, so maybe we'll see the same thing show up in Cura. I would love to see that. If you have an idea where you could use this on your 3D prints, let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. Or support me on Patreon. But if nothing else, click on that Film of Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.